Mio did nothing wrong is the take that a lot of people are heated about in the YouTube comment section because all their favorite white foods are just getting fucking fisted through the stomach. What is with Mio's obsession? Which is donating girls. First it was Kurumi, now Kaguya is dead. Now Yuzuru is still there and I wonder how the Sephira kind of works because they're kind of like two in one, right? Still kind of waiting for the moment when they could fucking fuse into Yamai tunes. I'm not sure if that's still even possible. Now, do you... Uh, surely another girl is gonna die today. And a fucked up... Okay, let me cook. Let me cook. This is gonna sound fucked up. You know who I want to die next? Just get donated? Yoshino? No, that's kind of mad. That's kind of mean, right? That's kind of really mean though, right? Hey, listen. I think it's hilarious whenever children get bullied, okay? And, and hear me out. If Yoshino gets donated... And she dies... If Yoshino... Talks after Yoshino gets donutted, I will admit that Yoshino is not the product of ventriloquism, but its own sentient being. I think it will be a very fun test. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh shit, Shido versus Westcott stare down, right? That's how we ended the last episode. Power. Bane. Pussy. Oh, right. Title of today's episode was like the three magi or the three magus. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but like that's crazy how like the term like the strongest sorcerer, magician, whatnot. That was like the wizard. That was like just loosely thrown around in the early seasons. And I'm like, why the fuck are they calling these like, you know, mecha people wizards? But it's like the power actually comes from Isaac, Elliot and Ellen. Like they were magicians back in the past. The true ones. Westcott backstory time. Elation. I know the path of elation from S HSR, but what does it actually mean? Great happiness and acceleration. <laughs> you felt great happiness and acceleration? For, rather than sadness. Um, uh, okay, this is definitely a, a normal kid. That's what you get for turning the Wi-Fi off! I was trying to play Roblox. You're a sociopath, bro. Eh? <laughs> you gonna laugh at your mom's death? I can't believe bro actually fucking laughed at the end there when his mom's dying. <laughs> what is that? Ellen, what are you fucking doing? What is this fucking swordsmanship training? Hey! Hey, no, she's trying to use like Firebolt, right? She's like, come on! Come on, Firebolt! 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 Why isn't it coming out? Very cute. Alright, let's see the power of magic, Elliot. Uh, what's happening? Bubbles around the flower field? <laughs> Kid Ellen is peak. She's hilarious as fuck. The little a a a. Give me the power, please. Very cunning. She reminds me of Zenze from Freedom right now because of the long hairstyle. I don't think his village can also use it. Oh yeah, sister. <laughs> Dang, your sister's good at magic too. Why are you so fucking trash? Oh, I'm so sorry. Skill issue. Skill issue. We got a Norn in here, man. Remote place. So it's like witch hunting back in the past? People are just scared as fuck? Oh, Karen, the girl that Ellie seduced, quote-unquote. Quote -unquote. 
They're not like us. They're savages. We must kill them. Westcott's already so philosophical at a young age, and wow, our family, our, our village just got off screen. <laughs> our village just straight up just got off screen. What the fuck? Not even a fucking fight? Okay. Just ho ho ho, and then. Oh. <laughs> Who attacked us? I wanted to see. Yo, yo, yo. Westcott's smiling. You see that shit? Let me get a closer view for you. This dude's smiling. What an insane motherfucker. Is he just like waiting for an opportunity for him to like enact magical violence onto the human population? Was he just realizing like, you know what? This is my chance to not pop off on them. If, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That'd be crazy! This is some Ayana Cody shit where he like set fire to his own village. No, no, no. The whole revenge plot of why DEM was even created was because, like, accordingly, the, the humans, like, you know, ruined their village, right? <laughs> Westcott burned down his own village? No way. No way. I could see it happening, though. <laughs> and we see no other, you know, humans here, right? We just see a village on fire. Maybe they left. <laughs> there goes Elliot seducing Cotton, bro. How dare he? Dude, this is like facing... Like you experience a high for the first time. Like you gamble and you win. You pull a fucking five-star SSR and one pull you win. Like the first time you experience something, the high was so amazing. You chase after it. And that high, the first thing was his mom dying. What the fuck? I totally can believe that he fucking burnt down his own village for further elation. You become a hollow ghoul trying to, you know, chase after that, that, you know, the first time. A world for Magi. Banish humans. But it was probably you, right? I don't know. There probably, there definitely is some, um, like, lore of humans, you know, persecuting witches or magicians, right? Because that's why we're living in a remote village. There is that reasoning. But Westcott probably just burned down this whole fucking village. And now he just used that as an excuse to, like, banish humans. And in order to do that, he needs to gain the greatest power. How? Takami Emiyo, origin spirit. If you get the power, then you can rule over the world. Is this... Backstory just as simple as that? How does he even figure out what a spirit is? He's predicting their lines. That's pretty much confirming it, right? Yeah, yeah. He literally was saying, like, predicting the lines of what they were gonna say based on what just happened. Okay. It's not even like an empathetic villain either, right? Like, like, if there was a sad backstory, would that have made me like Ike more? Maybe. Maybe if there was some crazy backstory where the humans were literally torturing, like, his parents in front of him, and the reason why he wanted to kill the humans is because, like, the, the humans, like, killed his mother in front of him, and he had to witness that. Like, I could totally be like, you know what? I, I get you. I, 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 I could see that. But they're like, nah. He's like, he's insane. He was smiling at his mom dying. He enacted the burning of his own village and then basically manipulated these kids to follow him in this vengeance plot just so he could chase the hide that he witnessed for the first time. Insane person. The victim. Professional victim, bro. Okay, it's an orphanage. Wealthy couple dub, but there's a car that... Unfortunate accident. Gee, I wonder what happened. Man, it's just wherever Westcott goes, death follows. Coincidence? No way. Why, he just happened to inherit all the wealth? Wow, he's really lucky, huh? Damn, bro, it just, it just, it just happened. Oh, according to plan. <laughs> Does this chalkboard matter? Probably not. I was wondering if there's something here that alludes to the lore of spirits, but it just looks like some kind of magic transmutation circle. The research is used to find... Mio? The spirit. Origin spirit, 150 million. Hi. 
Spirit formula. How'd you get the spirit uh, formula? Create a spirit? He created Takami a meal? Wait, what? I thought that these spirits are already just beings that existed and somehow he was able to find them through research, but it sounded like he created the fucking spirit. What? You know how right now there's a lot of people, a lot of monkeys throwing shit at each other in the YouTube comment section about how Mio cancel! Cancel Mio! Kill Kurumi! And the people are like, bro, without Mio, like, Kurumi couldn't have existed. Now let's take that argument and go even back for it. Westcott. <laughs> None of the spirits could exist if it wasn't for Westcott, so... Damn, he really is the grandfather of everything, huh? Holy shit, he, 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 without him, the girls don't exist. Should we be thanking him? I don't know. The reality, oh, these are the terminologies used in AST and, you know, a DM technology, right? There's a realizer, there's a fucking territory. There are all these different things that they use in their battle combat mechanics. Neighboring world where the spirits kind of exist. Like when Toka was saying in season one, we're asking her, what about the space quake? What happens after? And she's like, I don't know. I just got back to space and I just kind of sleep and I just like nap. I don't know where it is though. That must be the neighboring world? Data bullet reference? True, true. Is, is, is um, Ovi Kurumi still there? Is Ovi Kurumi just like still stuck? Wait, wait, how did she, did she get out? The ending of Data Live, Data Bullet was kind of so rushed. I forget. No, weren't they still in that fucking area? I forget. Overwrite this world with the neighboring world. <laughs> the shockwave is the space quake. Protective wards and looks like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks just like the ring behind Mio. I mean, the one on the top left at the 11 p.m. position right over here. That's Kurumi's, right? It is. And maybe the one on the far, and then Kaguya's, I forget. But this is the exact same ringlet that was on Mio's design. Space quick time, but it gets canceled out. Is this the 150 million death disaster? So like... How are you gonna blame me? How, how are people genuinely getting mad at Mio for killing 150 million when she got summoned out of fucking thin air? Like, 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 Ike did this to create a spirit and this is the byproduct of it. Mio just showed up like, how the fuck are you gonna like... What? What is the fucking logic with some of the data life fan? That definitely doesn't look like a meal. Maybe I'm wrong? <laughs> oh. oh, it's just what a beauty. Good morning. A minute year old. True. <laughs> uh, that's a nice backstory. It actually answered a lot. Honestly, that alone. That just pretty much answers most of the questions that we had, huh? Who, where did the spirits come from? The source of the spirits. This, that backstory pretty much like answered the bulk of the questions that I'm sure a lot of the Data Live anime only fandoms had, right? What's really left? I guess like the connection between the, the world tree or the Sephiroth tree and stuff like that. How all these, no, I mean, that's already implied that like Mio is like the entire being and then her fragments, you know, is, and then the spirits all just kind of went away and everything kind of makes up Mio. But is there anything else? This is, this, we're, we're pretty much like 90% of the way there. We're pretty much all the way there, man. Like, that's pretty good. Most Doesn't answer why we only named Toka and Mio so far, though, compared to the other spirits who are not humans before. Doesn't answer that yet. Season 2, right? Sorry, so that's when he called him Takami Asenji, but... Sorry, he didn't call him Takami Asenji, no. It was like, Takami no Iskashido or something, but that pretty much was like Takami Asenji bear. 
That power is insane. The flower opens and the spores just like kills things, and you can't even block against it. But you could with Shido? Bills above. <laughs> oh shit! Triple! Triple! Quad! Ah, oh, if just, I just, oh, the, the little fucking cherry on top would be like, Zafkid on top of that while shooting him in the head, but that's that's He's talking big! Yuzuru, what you gonna do? Yuzuru, if you got the Yamai form right now, if it's still possible. It's gone! Three to the collection now, right? Sorry, two, 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 two. Why won't I need the girls invert? Oh my god! What the fuck did she throw? What the fuck was that? Just like a fucking... It's, it's like her dress! Okay, does this count as a donut? I mean, it like... Yeah, she just keeps piercing them through the fucking stomach. Why? Because of Sephiroth in the chest? Is there a reason why she keeps like impaling people through the chest? Because it's like the Sephiroth crystal is like in that area. I think that would make sense. <laughs> Goodbye, Yuzuru. I don't know why they're making you naked. It's, it's, it's fucked up that they would do that to you. I guess it's because the astral dress is obviously going to go away. And because they're obviously two in one, the circle is going to get bolder as in it's complete before it was at 50% now it's complete ah I just would have loved to see the Yamai formation like the fusion or something I understand it's like an all or nothing deal but like Kago is already fucking dead maybe it's impossible because he was already dead that he can't fuse that probably makes sense why did you and you have the same fucking date Toka and Mio had like the same date there's so many parallels and she's saving her for the last Princess. Why? 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 Also, is Tenka gonna show up anytime soon? And this is fucked up because I shouldn't know the name Tenka. You motherfuckers already spoiled me back in like fucking season two, bro. I'm where's the inverse spirits showing up, man? Maybe you know what'll be fucking sick? When like all the original spirits just like die and get absorbed to the thing, then the inverses show up to save. But I don't think that's logically that doesn't make sense. How would the inverse show up if the, the vanilla form is already gone? Oh, oh, the animation. Oh! Yoshino, I hope you die today. I love Yoshino, bro. I just think it'd be hilarious if the child died. <laughs> Mana, don't do it! Mana, no! Mana's still gonna fight. She wants to end it before Shin returns. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Got bodied by Elliot last episode, I think. Something about using magic to keep them young. Kill me! <laughs> I knew it. No, really? <laughs> he, he, he's actually gonna do it? I thought he was gonna say something like, Your sister will be so sad. We can come on, come back. We can be a family again. But he's like, Alright. Oh. That's her equipment. Oh, I just had another question. Uh, so El Elliot, Westco they, they, they were magicians back in the day. Can they still use those powers? I don't think I've really seen them, you know, use those powers yet, right? Because they have these suits. I understand they fight like that. But I don't think we've ever seen Westcott use his, like, magic power. Wait, wait, wait! Hold the fuck up! Wait, wait, wait! They might be hiding that for something else, because, like... Right, cause they are like Magi or something. Maybe there's gonna be 16 where they actually start using magic and we're like, what? And it just looks to me they're just, you know, fucking playing Gundam right now. They're just using mech suits to pilot. <laughs> True. Elliot is very stubborn. 
It's working. Dummy Riz, you call a girl dummy enough time, she starts fucking blushing and folding. What the fuck? What? What is that? Why didn't he take her? Did he even offer? I thought that she was so down with the revenge plot with Westcott that she decided to stay and only Cotton left. Even if Elliot asked, would Ellen have left? I don't know. Head pats. Head pats for grandma. Okay, the suit powered off. Is he gonna return to grandpa form? Hold the fuck up. What? What? Bro died getting cucked by Shido. No! Well, no, 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 no. What are, what are you talking? What are you talking about? What are you fucking talking? All the girls are dead too. You really think we're gonna stay in this timeline? Get fucking real. Nobody's actually dead. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I was more saddened by Elliot's death than the spirits because, like, the wife was like, I know they're gonna be fine. There is no shot we're staying in this timeline right now. No fucking shot. We're somehow gonna be able to use Kurumi's powers and go back. I, I bet. But something about Elliot's death because he's not a wife. I thought he died for real for a second. Nah, 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 he'll be back. No, there's no shot. Oh, it's a tree this time. Checkers. Sephiroth tree? Sephiroth tree? What is this? Domain expansion, Sephiroth tree? Straight up. It's a Bankai domain expansion. Territory. Territory pretty much is a domain. Emil knows of their research. Yeah, okay, okay. The neighboring world or some shit. You know what would be fucking crazy, dude? And there's no shot this would happen. But imagine we get fucking backup from the data bullet neighboring world when it looks like everything is going bad. That would be some like... Oh, I would fucking... I would actually bat chest. They'd be like... Oh! Oh my god, it's White Queen! Oh shit, it's Ovi and Kurumi! Oh shit, it's the other fucking girls that I don't really know about has some powers. Bro, bro, imagine! Some Avenger shit at the end? Moku, don't talk. No, oh, Moku! <laughs> no, 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 Moku! Wait, what happened here? She put the key in? And then? They came out the other way? I don't see Donut just yet. What happened? Why? That's bullshit! This is Moku's key! You should be able to lock and unlock everything! You should be able to, able to unlock the fucking iron sofa! She, she's fucking OP. She locked herself? Did she just kill herself? She locked herself again? How do we- Okay, we need to get Shido back, bro. We need to get Shido back. It's like she sealed her heart away before, right? <laughs> well, there goes Muku. Today, Yuzuru died and Muku, I'm not sure. We need some fucking like ID Heathcliff override the admin privileges. Attacking Ionself in here is set to impossible. It's like a fucking game. She set the settings to like, nah, I'm God mode right now. There's the Sephiroth. Another girl impaled, stripped naked, and stolen. There's another one! Is it that simple? This is a scary soundtrack. No mana! Mana! You wanna kill her, right? Returning the memories. This is actually good. I wanted to Mana to know the truth. You're actually 40 plus years old too, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah.
just gonna assume that she's not dead and Mio decided to send her out of her domain. I don't know. She turned into dust though. Maybe this. Oh god, my coup did a waifu. Onigami, be careful. No, you. you, 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 you. Zakyu, she'll just Zakyu too. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So now we have to see if Yoshi Noon will talk after Yoshi No dies. No, no, no. Let's see it. Let's see it. Prove to me this isn't ventriloquism. Don't worry, I'll make you fucking oil to them later. Fraud. 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 No, where's the puppet? Where's the where's the fucking puppet? No, no, no. The, 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 the spirit form. Where, where's the puppet? You guys need to understand, I don't hate Yoshino. I just think that bullying children is funny, but most importantly, I want to see if Yoshi known the puppet's gonna fucking talk while she's dead to fucking prove it, bro. Nah, dude. She fucking ventriloquism, bro. Fucking fraud. Nah, dude. Oh, 07 for Yoshino. In an anime? where magicians existed and did research to fucking summon a magical waifu that then, you know, takes these kind of powers. I'm more worried about whether or not the puppet is an actual ventriloquism or a living being. That's what I'm fucking focused on about. It's like everything else that's happening here, the time travel powers, I don't even question that shit. But whenever Yoshino starts talking, I'm like, you fucking fraud. You're a fucking puppet. You're not real. What are you doing? Origami might be next, man. Like, I think Origami is next, right? <sighs> that is the episode. I think today's episode, another fucking peak of life. But this time it was like so much more plot. No, no, the last three episodes, like this one included, has just been so much fucking plot answering all my fucking questions, right? Before it was like, who's the organ spirit, the phantom and stuff like that, Rainy and the connections. That's been settled. And now this one's like, how did these spirits even be manifested? So they, they, they used to be magicians and Wes got fucking insane and just basically is chasing after this high that he felt when his mom died. And in order to do that, I, I don't know, he decided to do some fucking research, some spirit formula. Who the fuck knows how to spirit formula? I, I think this is like the biggest like abstraction, right? Where they just didn't really tell us how this spirit formula is just created. He just figured it out through research and then it's like, all right, then this is going to create a territory in the neighboring world and we're going to fucking create a spirit and this thing's going to have enormous power, right? That, that That's basically how the spirits are formed. So like 90%, like all the fucking um, answers, most answers, most questions have had answers, but I still had this question from the beginning and I'm not sure if I'm schizo, but it's like, why do we name Yatogami Toka like that? But every other girl already had a name. Even the ones that were not even human from the beginning and turned to an angel. Mio we also named. Mio and Toka, there's a lot of parallels in the date they had. And the fact that Mio kind of like sees Toka as someone special and she's saving for the last. Clearly there's a connection here that the author is trying to hint at us. So that'll be like the final piece of the puzzle. Maybe. Westcott's backstory. Insane. Psychopath. Sociopath. Whatever path you want to add. If he had like a sad backstory where like the humans actually did a witch hunt and then killed his mom in front of him, then I could be more empathetic and be like, you know what? This backstory makes me feel like what Westcott's doing is not all that fucking evil, even though it is, but he's just a fucking meanie. Absolute fucking insane person. Elliot, quote unquote, died. But I just don't think that they're gonna die. There's no way we stay in this timeline where everyone just dies. I think this is gonna be just battle till the end. Maybe Toka's the last one standing. And then what happens when Mio takes Toka and then Shiro arrives? Is that the point where Shiro will go fucking berserk? Well, we still have to beat, you know, Westcott too. Don't forget about Westcott and potentially his fucking magic powers that we haven't even seen yet. We've still got a lot of data live left and I'm getting pretty fucking excited. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.